Hi, my name is Cam Muller. I'm an Associate Professor of Applied Physics and Physics here at Stanford University. So I'd like to say a little bit about what my life as a professor who does research is like. When I was a child and I thought about being a scientist, I thought that scientists wore lab coats and spent all of their time in the lab. And actually, as a graduate student and a postdoc, that's what my life was like. I was, I was working with the instruments, um, uh, loading, loading the samples, transferring liquid heliums to make things cold, adjusting the lock-in amplifier, programming the computer. Now, as a professor who runs a research group, I spend a lot of time interacting with my graduate students and my colleagues. I spend a lot of time writing proposals and managing funding. For me, the most fun thing is interacting with um, students and postdocs, both undergraduate and graduate students. And it's just really exciting to see them learn how to be scientists. I actually was thinking that I would be a medical doctor. And in order to be a medical doctor, I was majoring in biology. And I felt that to understand biology, I needed to have a better understanding of chemistry. And so then I was going to double major in chemistry. But then in order to understand chemistry, I felt that I needed to have a better understanding of physics. So then I decided to double major in physics and chemistry before going to medical school. And then as it turns out, I've never finished that process of understanding physics. So I've just been doing physics research since, since I became a physics major, more or less. Yeah. I remember there was one class in particular my junior year. There was a very hands-on experimental class. And that was the class where I really realized that this was what I wanted to do, that I wanted to do experiments, that I wanted to know something about nature that I had learned through doing an experiment, something that nobody else knew. I always liked learning about science, and I always liked doing science experiments that were interesting. I didn't always like doing cookbook experiments, and I didn't always like uh, memorizing things. Especially, it always really bothered me to be asked to memorize stuff that I didn't understand. I would say that I wasn't always good at math by any means at all. In fact, when I was in second grade, I decided that I didn't understand math and never would, and that I was too stupid to do math. So it was the 70s, and people were very permissive then. So my mother and my teachers decided that I didn't have to do math, and I actually didn't do any math for two solid years because I felt that I was too stupid and there was no point in trying. So when I'm not doing research or other work associated with my job as a professor, like teaching or administrative issues, I go home and spend time with my family. Um, I, I go home and cook dinner, and we all eat dinner together. Um, my husband and I have four kids, um, and they're, they're wonderful kids. Two of them are my stepkids. So three of the four will be on soccer teams, and so a lot of my leisure time for the next three months will be spent driving people to soccer practices and watching soccer games and, and organizing snacks and stuff like that. That'll be a lot of fun. In other words, we just like to hang out, hang out around the house. Thanks for watching this video.